So Las Nubes uh, is a program that uh, the Faculty of Environmental Studies uh, began um, in Costa Rica in uh, the late 1990s. Every year since then, uh, FES students have been going down uh, doing field courses, um, uh, looking at issues around tropical ecology and, and, and biology, but also questions about community development. As the eco campus started to take shape, um, and we knew that we were going to be opening it in 2016, we realised that we had an opportunity to do much more and we should, we should be uh, bringing students down there as much of the year as possible, bringing other um, universities, other programs, having other, other people use the resource. So we developed, uh, uh, starting in 2015, we started developing the plan for a semester abroad program. Um, which has uh, now six courses running consecutively uh, over most of the summer. Costa Rica from the US. One of his concerns in particular was thinking about local and indigenous perspectives in which water means something entirely different. My name is Steve Alsop I'm, and I'm in the Faculty of Education at York University and this is my first time teaching here. Um, the name of my course is Education for a Sustainable Future and I pick up education questions in, in the corridor here. I mean it is a pleasure and it's a privilege teaching here. Um, I've enjoyed myself and I think the students um, have benefited greatly. I mean it is amazing to be immersed in homestays. It's amazing to be talking and visiting schools and visiting various sites of environmental and sustainability education. And also it's amazing to go for hikes and to, to explore the backdrop um, of Las Nubes and, um, and the particular corridor here. I'm Deborah Barnt and I had the real privilege of being able to kind of create this new course as a part of the semester abroad of the Faculty of Environmental Studies at York University. And why I love to do this kind of a hands-on experiential course is because I feel that really we learn the most when we're engaged, when we're um, actually when we're outside often, but also when we're connecting with people in their daily lives. And also to kind of challenge that space by having people bring in their own stories and bring in the many ways that they tell those stories, whether it's through dance or music or visuals, um, digital media, etc. So, so we do try to make that space a space where people can create, co-create knowledge and uh, have that kind of immersive experience. I'm Matesh. I'm in my fourth year of environmental studies in the management stream. Uh, coming to Costa Rica, it's been an incredible experience. It's uh, much more experiential learning. We see the different types of lifestyles here and how we can interact with them. Being in a classroom that looks like this and stopping everything because you see a hummingbird right outside your like five feet away from you or you see the rain coming in or you feel the smells of something or um, talking to the members of a community who have been uh, fighting and advocating for continual access to their water is unbelievable. Well, it always was great for me because I, I don't really like being inside a classroom but when you get here you can if you decide to, you can get dirty, you can hike, you can walk, you can grab whatever you, you want, you're outside, you're doing things in a more free way, but if you're inside a classroom you get a lot of theory that is sometimes good and necessary, but it's also very abstract. When you get here you see that people are people, they're not just some random 
people in the tropics, in like where people that exist. I don't think a classroom can ever beat that kind of an experience where you actually get to live what you're learning. And I think it's the fact that you're living what you're learning in theory, and that's what makes it so incredible, the fact that um, you're taking in all of this knowledge and you're learning all of this knowledge that otherwise if you were just learning about theories and stuff in the classroom, I feel like for most people, for most students, like it comes one year and not the other. But living with people in Costa Rica and uh, experiencing their culture, speaking the language, being immersed with my friends now, who are, who are now my friends, but people who I met in Costa Rica, um, I think that experience was unlike any other because I take it with me, because I take it with me as a lived story, as a lived experience. Mm -hmm. and the wonderful thing about uh, one of the wonderful things about Las Nubes is that our students stay with families, homestays uh, in in uh, this area we call the corridor, and uh, that's just that just brings a completely different dimension to these courses. Um, all of our students have always said how much um, uh, how much they value the experience of living with another family. Being able to witness a life which is much simpler, which isn't totally driven by the you know consumer consumerism at its extreme, which we kind of live in this context. And I think we don't realize it even until we're in another context and we see that people can can survive growing their own food and with kind of minimal goods that they need for survival and it becomes a real aha you know maybe this is part of what we need to look at when we're looking at whole kind of environmental crises and you know how we walk on the earth developed so many relationships with people, uh, which was always the point. Um, we knew that we um, couldn't and didn't want to be a, a university that just had its own building and with walls and, and the community w were kept out. Uh, it's never been the idea of Las Nubes and uh, we've um, steadily created more and more opportunities and, and, and ways of interacting with community members to, to develop courses, research activities that uh, also support the community's objectives. Es maravillosa, la gente le encanta convivir con ellos, aparte del aporte que hacen los muchachos a, las, a, los, um, a los homestays, eh, es un gran aporte económico para las familias. También uh, hablarles un poquitito sobre el festival ambiental que se lleva a cabo de, el, el fin de semana más cerca el 19 de mayo, que es la celebración del natalicio de Alexander Scott. Eh, este festival, la U de York ayuda a organizarlo. Mm, la idea es promover los eh, emprendedurismos locales, eh, promover los artesanos, que la gente se dé cuenta de que tenemos una gran cantidad de artesanos, entonces los invitamos al festival para que ellos expongan sus, sus manualidades o diferentes artesanías y es, eh, la pasamos muy bien, es, es un fin de semana muy diferente y bonito. To communicate something and, and understand what a community's needs are and then to be able to deliver it to them um, and know that you've succeeded, that's a, that's a, a a possibility that experiential education programs like this can offer and I think over the next few years we are going to really try to continue to develop um, ongoing kinds of, uh, of activities.